Herald Volage. 6 mana, 5-5, five, five, Priest Legendary card. Battle Cry, summon a 1-1 one, one copy of each of, each of your other minions. Alright, so... Synergizes very well <laughs> with all the cards that are going out, which was uh, the Nax Ramas cards. Because Nax Ramas had the Nerubian Egg and all that stuff. And uh, I, I believe Dark Cultist as well was in, uh, in Nax Ramas. So that the entire theme of that expansion was Death Rattle. And, uh, and this, the, this Battle Cry simply is best at, 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 uh, with those, those minions. Because summoning 1-1 one, one copies means that they are going to die very quickly. So having an effect that, that triggers when, when they die would be very nice. Also, like the end of turn effects, which, which somewhat work with this, let's say, yeah, like Emperor Thorison and uh, Ragnar's the Fire Lord. If those minions survive one turn on the board, then you're probably doing pretty well anyway, so you don't like need another one. It's not that big of a deal. It really depends on what else we get from this expansion. I think this card has potential to be very good. Because there's 6 mana, 5-5, five, five, it's not a bad stat line at all. Or we see it with Shield Maiden, and it's, it's somewhat like playable and uh, and like reasonable minion, even in matchups where you waste the, waste the effect, where you don't need the healing, you don't need the armor. So just having a 5-5 five, five body, it's not bad at all. So I do think that this is this is actually a playable card. If you have some, 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 uh, some good death rattles, uh, Maybe not even that many. If you have, let's say, five good bath death roll minions that uh, are all uh, like cheaper than uh, than Herald Volage is, and uh, or or six death roll minions that have uh, like a fairly good good effect. Yeah, I, th I think you can you can play this if you have one of those survive to the turn where you drop this. Uh, it should be awesome. And uh, summoning one on copies of your other minions, even if they are not death roll, you still get like three one ones. You if you get even one 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 from uh, from this effect, even if there's no Ability on your minion, it's kind of like six power, six toughness for six mana, which is which is something. It's um, it's not a disaster. Getting two minions would mean seven attack and uh, and seven toughness, and uh, that's actually already like a good value for six mana. So uh, yeah, I think it's uh, it's uh, I honestly think it's a it's a pretty good card if you uh, if you can find reasonable synergy for the effect. Uh, Infested Torin, 4 mana, 2, 3, Thorn, Death Rattle, Summon, a 2, 2 Slime. So this was actually confirmed that um, the Slime is not a Taunt. Uh, even though the Slime from uh, Sludge Belcher used to be a Taunt, so a lot of people got excited up for, for this card because of that reason, so it could be like the new Sludge Belcher, but that's not the case at all. And I think that this card is actually like pretty horrible. The third line is really weak. In an aggressive deck, you, you, you can never play this. Because uh, it only has two attack. If you're going for phase, you want to play something that's like a that's very powerful fast. Um, if you're playing a defensive deck, it's still like pretty weak. I don't, I don't really know like how, how do you play this. I guess there's some synergy with the previous card that we saw, like Herald Volage. So if you get a one-one copy of this minion, yeah, I mean you also get two two slime later. So so these two actually kind of go well together. But I think that the mana cost in comparison to the so the effect is just too weak, and uh, you really have to be able to utilize the death travel effect efficiently. There is that uh, one of the new legendary cards was um, was pretty huge. Summons all the all the death travel minions that died this game. So this could be an like a like a card that that you can play in the in the Enzot deck. It could uh, could work out kind of well, I suppose, because it is death travel. But but. The, mm, I don't think it's going to be a competitive card at all. Okay, next one. Doom! 10 mana, Warlock spell, destroy all minions, draw a card for each. So, um, you have kind of like Twisting Nether here, which is not getting played in uh, in many decks at all. But, you can pay 2 extra mana to deal the effect. Okay, I'm just kidding. Uh, you, you get to draw a card for each, each minion that dies. Um, yeah, I mean drawing cards is great, but it's a warlock card, so that it's like a tiny bit off because you already have the hero power which draws cards. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't think this is this is very good. Maybe some kind of combo deck where you have to like get through everything very quickly, but then mana cost is ridiculous. Like twisting nether, it's really a struggle already to to play the twisting nether. Because of their high mana cost, and this is even worse. And just the uh, card draw is not what warlocks in general need. So 
unless there's a new type of warlock, um, this card is is not going to be good. If there's some kind of some kind of warlock deck that doesn't like draw minions at all and just kind uh, the, the meta is somehow like suitable for um, suitable for for a lot of like board clears. Uh, it's just if if it was a different class card, maybe it, it could be a nice thing. But Warlock already has Shadow Flame, Hellfire, which are really good, and has Twisting Nether, which I think is might be better than this, but it's it's still bad. So probably not getting played. But there's the tiny chance that there's like some kind of niche deck that uh, could utilize this. Tentacle of Enzot, one mana, one one, death rattle, deal one damage to all minions. Uh, very small minion, obviously. If you if you need to deal one damage to all minions, I mean, I, I guess this is this is it then. But how often do you really need that? And this is like a really horrible card to throw on the later turns. I don't I don't see the place for this card at least yet. Like, uh, some somebody I think said that it would be maybe a warrior card where you can like uh, use it as a whirlwind effect, but I think you or warrior already has enough whirlwind thingies, and this is just like weaker because you need to like combo it with another whirlwind or something. Um, this 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 card has some potential to be playable in some kind of combo deck where you can like use this, but I don't I don't think I don't think any of the existing decks that we see you know, on the ladder would really like. Uh, use this, you know, so you just try to play maybe an unstable ghoul or or something. You don't really need to start on turn one that open, but it, it, I don't know. Might be playable somewhere, sometime, but right right now with the existing cards, nope. Halazil the Ascended. Five mana, four six. Whenever your spells deal damage, restore that much health to your hero. Alright, well it's a pretty sweet card. The stat line four six for five it, it's pretty solid I have to say. Um, it's completely playable. If you don't get the, don't get to do the spell damage things, it's still still somewhat reasonable. Like you, you can easily play this on turn five and not worry about the, like the ability. It's you should you should do fine. And later on in the game, you can you can play spells damage spells on the same turn as you as you drop this, to uh, immediately restore health to your hero. Restore health to to the hero is generally. Not that valuable, but there's some cool cards in uh, in shaman like elemental destruction, which are very powerful board clears. So, so you might be able to like buy time with this, and then like hold on to your elemental destruction a little while longer. Um, it's clunky, like all the all the shaman it's shaman cards that exist, <laughs> almost all all the shaman cards that exist, because um, so you do you need to synergize with other cards, or otherwise you would just play like a Corrupt their heal bot for the 6-6 six, six instead. But um, probably a playable card. I would expect to, this, to see this uh, a fair bit in uh, decks that run Lightning Bolt and Lava Shock and that stuff. Um, usually, like the only spells that we see in Shaman are like very commonly are like Crackle and uh, Lightning Bolt. Because La Lava Burst is like an aggro card. It's too punishing with the Overlord. So uh, you can't really play that in the in the type of deck that would uh, benefit from the healing effect, so it's possible that there's not enough, not enough damage spells to really like justify this, unless you're playing some kind of spell heavy Malagos deck. But we will see. The stats are solid, so might work out. One one for one mana. Enzot's first mate. Battle cry. Equip a one three rust hug. Ah, oh, this is some uh, some serious. Power creep here, better than upgrade. No, it's actually not because upgrade can be used on an existing weapon, but Yar, it's a pirate, so if you have some kind of pirate synergy thing going on, it could be uh, could be fine. Depends if pirates are gonna be a thing or not. I don't I don't think that I don't think I don't really see much like future for warrior pirates, but if there are more good pirates or like somebody manages to like find a reasonable pirate list, I think this uh, this might be an okay card. With some uh, improvements on that weapon, the one, one, three. It's not that, it's not that big, but maybe in some pirate thing or in arena, maybe in arena, the one, three weapon uh, can can do something. Maybe we'll see. It's nothing spectacular. Faceless Shampler, four mana, one, one. <laughs> Don't <coughs> battle cry. Copy a friendly minus other can help so. It's not really a, 
It's not really a 1-1. One, one. Hmm. Kind of faces manipulator, but uh, instead you copy your friendly minion. But you don't get the ability. But you get a taunt. Uh, really weird card, because you kind of have to have a minion already on the board when you play this. So you have to be doing somewhat well, and if you like play this on curve, you don't. You're probably not gonna have a minion that would have like Yeti stat line because like the cards that cost less than less than four are are not uh, are not even like sentient shield masters. So like, you don't play a three five. But uh, in the later game, I guess it can work out fine if you have some kind of. Minion, minion stick on the board that has has good stats, then this could work out, but I, I don't really, I don't know, like, what are you supposed to do with this? There might be some kind of synergy that I can't think of right now, where you get, like, a reasonable um, minion on the board, or some of the cards that have not been revealed yet, there might be some synergies. It's kind of like a cool card that you might, uh, you might see decked in, in some kind of weird deck, but right now I don't see any use for it, but there might be... For some creative deck builders, there might be a place and time for this one. Undercity Hawkster, 2 mana, 2-2. Two, two. Death Rattle, add a, a random class card to your hand from your opponent's class. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's kind of solid in in the, in the its ability, like the, getting a random class card, 2 mana, 2-2. Two, two. Not too bad, I, I think it's it, it's okay. But the, the problem with this is that... that uh, on turn two, you really want to get the hero, rogue hero power going, so you have the weapon ready for the future turns where you might want to, like, say, deadly poison. You can look, have, get that weapon, and it's so good to get the weapon on turn two. And uh, if you play this later on, at, at let's say three mana, wouldn't you just rather play a three drop <laughs> in that case, or a four drop on turn four? Like that's what makes it a little bit weird. The, the added uh, benefit from the death rattle um, could allow for like some synergies with like. Uh, with the raptor, for example, and uh, and stuff, but like like most two drops, it's also a really bad top deck because you don't get the card immediately. You have to wait a turn. So if you have seven mana and like nothing to play, you play this, and then it's like you float five mana. Just a rough example, but but it, it's not a it's not really a, a good top deck. But the the card on its own, like if, if it wasn't a rogue card, it would be uh, like really really good. But it might still be good. Uh, I, I'm really interested to see how uh, people are going to use this card. In an Enzot Rogue, for example, I'm sure it's going to be an auto include. Speaking of which, here we go. Enzot the Corruptor, one of the four, uh, four gods. Well, four old gods, and uh, this one is a 10 mana, 5, 7. Does that line? Uh, it's like... Mm, it's okay. I mean, it's not like the biggest thing, but it's still... Uh, Still really strong and it's uh, it's hard to remove and has enough attack, so kind of like it. Battle cry, summon your death rattle minions that died this game. Mm, this is actually pretty sweet for deck building. If you're playing a deck death rattle team, um, Enzot could be could be it. You could even play a, like an Enzot deck that has like it's like full of death rattles. You can play a lot of death rattles. And you can play try playing Enzot in different classes and. Uh, should be a lot of fun. It might not be like top tier in uh, in many many classes. It might be more like on the fun side, but it should be somewhat viable um, decks. I would I would imagine uh, one of those. There's a chance that one of the classes ha has enough like death rattle class cards or the death rattle cards that, um, that have not been revealed yet are, are very strong. So it could be even like competitive, but probably not competitive uh, ends of uh, decks, but. Definitely a very fun card, uh, or ex expected to be a fun card to to fill decks with. A lot of the good death rattle cards, like Nerubian Egg and Haunted Creeper, are going away with uh, from a standard format once the expansion launches. So you're gonna some of the some of the better death rattle cards are going are going to uh, cease from uh, existing, but there might be some new ones coming in too. So excited to see if uh, ends of this gonna be a thing. Renounce Darkness, 2 mana, Warlock spell, replaces your hero power and Warlock cards with another class's cards, the cards cost one less. Whew. Wow. Uh, very difficult to evaluate. 
Um, there's so much RNG going into this, it's uh, it's almost like a joke. I, I hope that this card is going to be horrible. I, I don't want to see this in competitive play ever. It's um, it's going to be a serious offender for competitive integrity. And like a lot of... It's going to make for a lot of funny highlights. It's going to make a lot of funny and memorable moments, but... In, in competitive Hudson tournaments, I... I, I and uh, for those tournaments sake, I really hope that this card is not playable at all. I, I don't think it's going to be good because, like, you replace card, warlock cards that you have selected for your, do for your deck, which are the good ones. There's a lot of bad spells in each class, and uh, the warlock cards that you have in your deck are all good. There are only, there's only good cards, so when you cast this, it's likely that like half of your good cards are going to become bad cards. Then you're going to have some, uh, some like, good cards, sure. But um, it might work out. The one one cost uh, cost reduction on this is really huge because that does allow playing them the cards earlier. Really fun card. I'm definitely going to be playing this, but uh, I'm scared that it's going to be powerful. But uh, this the, with all the RNG, like evaluating how good exactly it is, it's uh, it's it's hard hard to, hard to imagine right now. Spawn of Enzot, three mana two two. Death rattle, keep your minions plus one plus one. That's pretty sweet, I guess. Like if you're playing Enzo the deck, that's a lot of death rattles. But three mana, two two. That's miserable. I don't. Oh, arena card, and we probably don't want to pick it that often either. But this is not going to. I don't think it's going to be played in. In any constructed decks, it's so hard. You need to have more than one minion on the board when this dies and you don't really like control when it dies usually it's it's going to be your opponent controlling it i mean if it survives a turn i suppose you can play stuff from your hand and then you trade it away and if you have something else on the board and you also have whatever you just played so there could be some some value but usually it's your opponent who, who says when it dies so so i don't know it's I, the stat line seems too weak to me that boogie monster eight mana six eight the mandatory terrible legendary card off the set or one of those uh, one of those uh, those bad ones when this attacks and kills a minion gain plus two plus two yeah so when your opponent leaves it alive eight mana minion no immediate effect those are usually bad they get sapped or assassinated or polymorph which all result in your opponent gaining tempo worth five or so mana um, Seems unplayable, like, uh, if, if these mana costs you just have to uh, make something happen very quickly. And uh, this deck, this card does not do it. Xaril, the poison mine, which uh, I'm trying to get up right now. Uh, four mana, three, two, battle cry and death rattle. And a random toxin card to your hand. So the toxin cards turn out to be like quite alright, like they, they are only, only slightly worse than them. Uh, and stuff like cold blood, you get three three attack instead. Uh, I think the big thing that I, like stands out from this card is that because of the stealth spare part, so to say, I think that the auctioneer would be absolutely ridiculous. And we are going to most likely see an auctioneer change once the expansion ships, and the auctioneer is going to be one of the cards that get changed because it just seems way too good to be play playing those uh, spare parts. I'm going to call them spare parts because they are like very similar. Or type of type of things like you know, getting those one mana random cards. Um, they just would work so 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 well with auctioneer. So auction is good enough. Uh, this card on its own, I think it's pretty good because the toxins are good enough. All of the toxins are really reasonable. You get two of those, and you also get a like a three two. Uh, it's kind of on the smaller side, but it's it's still something and. Uh, I think that this is going to be uh, quite all right. Rogue can afford it. You see, when I mean, you like backstep, you play this on turn four, you kind of fall behind on the board in some sense because you're playing a very small minion. But but you can use stuff like backstep. You already have, might have a weapon. It might have a poison on it. So you are not going to get like destroyed on the board immediately when you play this as a rogue. And the toxins should have enough value. So I think this is going to be played in most of the rogue decks. Good card. Never mind, no need to worry. That's all just a story of the whispers of the old gods.